In 2015, I won a lawsuit that restricts the salmon farming industry's right to use diseased fish. When the salmon farmers put diseased fish in their pens, uh, the viruses flow out of the farms, which is where the wild salmon are migrating. In particular, I'm looking for the Piscine Rio virus because this virus is so contagious and such a potential threat to our wild salmon. Oh, my darling, my high babe. It bothers me that uh, our wild fish are really disappearing right now. They have enough um, problems with climate change and, and overfishing. But to think that the diseases uh, and lice spread to the and baby the salmon that are on their way out to sea. These salmon don't belong to any one person. They belong to our great-great-grandchildren. And I kiss you on your bed. Well, they have a number of dead fish in them, and the fish are pretty big. There's nobody here, and uh, they've got generators for air, uh, but they're not running them. It's a very small farm, so it's six pens, you know, usually there's like 20. years of my life to trying to protect wild salmon uh, from the impact of salmon farms. And I believe that this voyage with the Martin Sheen is exactly what wild salmon need, and wild salmon need you. <laughs>